morning, friends and family in Jesus. This morning I would like to share with you a powerful truth in the Word of God. We've been saying it for uh, months. We've been speaking about it over and over and over again. Uh, this morning, uh, for some godly reason, the Lord wants me to uh, put it out there again. So there's somebody that needs to this morning hear this scripture. So if you want to follow with I'm going to be reading out of the book of Psalms 119. Psalms 119. Um, so while you're going to Psalms 119, um, a question that comes up, especially from a lot of young people these days, uh, is a, a relevant question. And the question basically comes to uh, the world today that we live in is absolutely filled with temptation. It's filled with um, all sorts of things that draw our attention away from the kingdom of God, away from the word of God, away from Christ, away from the voice of the Holy Spirit, uh, away from worship, true worship every single day. So the question that a lot of young people ask is, how is it possible to stay on this path that the Lord has um, planned for, for us? How is it possible? Because every single day is new temptations, every day. So the Bible gives us an answer to every question we have in life. Uh, and this morning, the Bible is going to answer that question. How is it possible to stay on the path that the Lord has paved for us? How is it possible with all this temptation around us? So if you want to follow this morning, Psalms 119, we're going to be reading a few um, scriptures. So 119 from verse 9. Um, King David asks the same question because if you go through the word of God, anybody that has ever faced temptation in the word of God, it, it would have been King David. Um, with all the wealth and the power that he had, uh, that man fell sometimes to temptation as well. So he asked the question here and he says, how can a young person stay on the path of purity? And then the Lord gives him the answer and he gives us the answer. He says, by living according to your word. Plain and simple answer. There's, there's nothing fancy uh, around it. There's nothing complicated around it. Plain and simple, it says, by living according to your word. I seek you with all my heart. Do not let me stray from your commands. I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Praise be to the Lord. Um, teach your decrees. Um, Verse 13, with my lips I recount all the laws that come from my mouth. So here David is saying to us something that in the New Testament, in the book of James, it teaches us. That faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. So the more we read the word of God, the more we speak the word of God, the more we believe in the word of God, the more we will live the word of God, the more the word of God will not become a, a routine in our life, but will become our lives. It will become a, a huge part of our lives, if not the whole part. So everything we set our hand and our mind to do, we first um, consult the word of God. We first think on the, the word of God. Verse 14, I rejoice in following your statutes as one rejoices in great riches. This is a beautiful scripture, this. If you can imagine um, somewhere gaining huge treasure today, a hundred million dollars worth of treasure, the Bible says here that um, to, to follow the word of God is like gaining treasure like that. It, it releases us, family in Jesus, by following the word of God every single day, it releases us from the bondage of this world. So yes, it is like 
receiving a massive treasure. Uh, something that the Lord uh, showed me here now. Uh, verse 10 again. I seek you with all my heart. Do not let me stray from your commands. I have hidden your word in my heart. Yet I will not sin against you. Praise be to the Lord. Teach me your decrees. Uh, with my lips I recount all uh, your laws that come from your mouth. Um, please just bear with me. Somewhere the Lord showed me something here. How can a young person, verse 9, stay on the path of purity by living according to your word? I seek you with all my heart. Do not let me stray from your commands. This, this is the thing. Every single day we as human beings seek something. We, we seek deliverance. We seek um, peace. We seek comfort. We seek joy. We, we seek uh, healing. Uh, we, we seek so many things every single day. And, and if you sit and you think about it, to look for something takes five minutes. But to seek something could take a lifetime. There, there are people that I have met that, that are, as we said now, that are seeking wealth. And they've been seeking wealth for the majority of their life. There are people that are seeking uh, deliverance, uh, seeking uh, peace in their heart concerning something. There was a huge um, portion of my life where I had severe hatred towards someone. I, I couldn't stand... Um, that specific person, I uh, even even just thinking about running into them uh, in town, um, boiled up this hate inside of me. And for a long time, I sought the Lord, and I and, and I said, Lord, please, I seek um, uh, forgiveness towards this this person. So, family in Jesus, every single day, we are seeking. Um, Something, but the Bible says here that uh, we can only find what we are seeking in the Word of God. So I want to encourage everyone. I, I know it's it's not a new message. This we've heard this a hundred times, but someone watching this morning, um, obviously the Lord knows you have to hear it again. That whatever you are seeking, brother in Christ, sister in Christ, you are going to find the answer to that, not by humans, not by looking on YouTube or Google, not by reading uh, some best-selling book, but you are going to find the answer in the Word of God this morning. And, and, and if you maybe are a, a, a new believer, a new Christian, and you don't know where to go in the Word of God. This is the ideal time to, to draw the Holy Spirit closer to you. Because the Bible teaches us that, that Jesus gave us the Holy Spirit to guide us, lead us, teach us, and remind us of every word that He said. And this book is Jesus. The Bible says in John 1 verse 1 that in the beginning was the Word and the Word was with God. The Word um, that name is in capital letters. Word is a name of Jesus. Jesus is the Word of God. So, the Holy Spirit has been given to us to remind us of everything that Jesus said in the Bible. So, if this is you this morning, I want to pray for you this morning. Brother in Christ, sister in Christ, whoever you are. I want to pray with you this morning that the Lord will... Um, Bless you with an answer to what you are seeking out of the Word of God. So if that is you this morning, please join me in prayer right now. Father God, in the name of your Son Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit that you have given us to be our counselor, Lord Jesus, this morning we come to you and we declare this morning and confess this morning, Lord, that if we are seeking answers to questions, that we want to receive the Jesus answer. And, and, and therefore we come to you this morning, Lord Jesus. And I present to you my brother or my sister in Christ, whoever it is that is crying out to you this morning, to please give them an answer to the question that they have. So 
as we said, as you taught us Sunday evening, Lord Jesus, that you are the revealer of all mysteries. And this morning, one of your children, Lord Jesus, is battling with the mystery, Lord. And they need an answer. And we please pray this morning that that answer will come from your word. So we thank you, Lord Jesus, that somehow during this day or during this week, Lord Jesus, whenever your time is right, that you will reveal to them the, the, the true biblical Jesus answer out of the word of God. And we thank you for that, Father God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We pray that you will um, continue to be with us during this day. Guide us, lead us, teach us. Strengthen us where we are weak, Lord Jesus. Lift us up where we have fallen. Um, bring us down, Lord Jesus, where we have pride. That is one thing that we as, as uh, your followers sometimes don't pray, Lord. I pray that today you will humble us if we have pride anywhere in our lives, Lord Jesus. So that we can get on that level where you can then truly bless us through the Spirit. So we worship you today. Blessed, blessed, blessed be the name of the Lord, we pray. We ask all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, family in Jesus. I hope and pray that you have a blessed day, that today will be um, enveloped with the love of Jesus Christ, with the presence of the Holy Spirit, with the truth of the Word of God, that everywhere you go, um, that the Lord will just turn it to blessings. And as we prayed now, that uh, if you need to be humbled and I need to be humbled somewhere in our lives, that the Lord will take care of that so that no pride can surface in Jesus' name. Amen. So that we can walk in the unity and the blessing um, of the Holy Spirit and of the Word of God and of Jesus Christ so that we can effectively lead people to the cross of Jesus. So until we meet again tomorrow, be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen.